class. Good day to you. I hope things are well. On the board, I will have a real example of an individual, a client that I've been working with. We ran the numbers and so far plastic is a decent tool in some cases, not all cases, but in some cases definitely good for a temporary use for velocity banking, a temporary use, okay? So I don't want you to just go and be like, oh, Denzel said velocity banking with plastic works, now I'm gonna go do it. No, no, no. Remember, we always wanna run the numbers, right? We always wanna run the numbers and make sure that everything makes sense financially. Whatever the cost is, we're able to offset it. I want to apologize ahead of time. Got family in the house playing video games, so they're gonna be loud. So if you hear some background noise, forgive me in advance. Let's direct our attention to the board. Here are the numbers. Income, 7203. Expenses, 5228.24. Total debt and current cash flow, okay? Here's our debt tool, which is a credit card. So we don't have a line of credit, which is why we're looking at this plastic strategy in the first place. So here's our debt tool. 10,000 is the limit. There's a 0% introductory offer on the table. In addition, we are also leveraging retirement account, which we took out $6,961 cash. And here are the debts. We got a van, we got a truck, and a mortgage. Here are the monthly payments. Here is the interest rate on those debts. This number right here is the amount of money from this total expense number that I can pay with a credit card, which is gonna be key to our plastic situation here, our cost situation. Plastic charges 2.5% per transaction every single time, okay? Now, this credit card that he has gives him 2% cash back rewards. So, whatever we run through the card, it's gonna cost me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get 2% cash back, right? What's nice is this 2,778 is not getting charged 2.5%. We're not getting charged 2.5% on this. The only thing we're gonna get charged 2.5% on is our chunk payment that we decide to use to pay down his van. Okay, this is the first debt that we're gonna tackle, right? This is the easiest one to wipe out and the most amount of cash flow that we can get in the shortest period of time, right? Again, we're using plastic for a temporary period of time so that we can build our credit over the next six months or less, right? And then leverage our home that he has to go get a HELOC. All right, that's the plan later on. But he was like, what can I do right now to get the ball rolling with Velocity Banking? And here would be a good strategy. So here we go. Here's the van. Here's the money from the 401k. So we're gonna put 6,961 onto the van. And we're gonna make a $7,400 chunk on the van. I pay off the van in full my new cash flow would go up to 2,308.27. Now we're gonna owe $7,400 on the credit card. Remember, the credit card itself is at 0%. Plastic is gonna charge me 2.5% because you know you can't pay, you can't make a payment to, your, to the car with a credit card. So that's where plastic comes in. It allows us to use plastic to actually run it as a purchase. So, this 7,400 gets charged 2.5% and I'll get 2% cash back on $7,400. So my actual cost is 0.5% on the 7,400 that we leveraged. After making this quick move, we currently have $3,383.27 cash on hand. So what that means is we're gonna take all this cash, right? and we're gonna dump it onto the credit card. 
which is going to bring the balance on the credit card down 4056.73. Remember, no interest is being charged on the credit card itself. We have an intro period right now. So we've got that big advantage that's helping us. This is what's making plastic make sense, all right? And now we do the numbers, okay? Expenses, right? Come out, brings the balance up. Income plus cash flow, end of May is when we're actually starting out making the move. So within like a 30, 40 day period, we're gonna go from owing 74 all the way down to about 1748.46. Not bad. July expenses come out 2070. 2778 income goes in balance goes to zero according to my notes his intro period is going to be quite for some time that we have a nice uh, uh, space in here so what we can do is do another chunk in august about six to seven thousand on the truck we're still going to be making the payment so the balance will be lower when we get to august if i make a chunk from the credit card, it's only gonna cost me this. That's actually better than what a line of credit could do for me. Remember, temporary period of time, right? So we can start hitting the truck. Meanwhile, the long-term plan is for him to leverage his current home value so that we can apply for a HELOC. We're not gonna use his credit because all of the debt is on him wife doesn't have much debt under her and she's got good good credit so we're going to apply for heloc under wife once we get approved for this heloc later down the road okay a little after or before august we're going to go ahead and make a down payment on a new property here's what's interesting with this scenario he's got a property literally a neighbor is selling their home for a, a huge discount right which my client here wants to obtain that property and then the father-in-law is going to live in that home and pay them rent, right? So now he's going to immediately get an asset which is going to have instant equity inside of it after making that chunk and now we'll have two debt tools that we can potentially leverage, one for investing, one for you know building wealth and the other one to keep wiping out the debts here there's some different things that we can possibly do now once we acquire that new property and the new HELOC we're gonna move all income and cash flow to the HELOC first we can still use the credit card to do this but we'll no longer need plastic okay so plastic is a temporary use in almost every situation that I've looked at so far and the examples that I'm running Plastic is a temporary use. It is not a permanent use. Credit cards are more permanent. HELOC, line of credit are more permanent uses as debt tools to you know, create wealth, pay off debt extremely fast. So not bad at all. I really, really uh, enjoyed doing this and running them, the numbers here. It really made sense. 0.5%, we're looking at you know, maybe, maybe $60, $90 in interest at, at the most. We're really not going to get hit hard at all, and it makes sense. It's as it's as if I get paid, I get charged no interest because of the amount of interest savings on the van, right? And of course, with that 401k loan, there's an automatic payment back to the 401k that comes out of his uh, checking, that comes out of his uh, paycheck automatically. So we don't actually even see that money when we did the numbers. He still is, you know, taking home this and cash flow that. So the actual cash flow when it's all said and done after wiping out the van, 2308, once we get that HELOC, then we can go ahead and we would, we would wipe this out either using the card or the HELOC or both, right? There's some, we can play around with this. We've got some really unique options in this case. I did a video, a live stream on the criteria and the fundamentals that need to be in place to have plastic work well in your velocity banking uh, debt payoff situation okay so I encourage you to watch that video I laid out some critiques you know we're gonna you're gonna need a credit card obviously you're gonna 
you're going to want to have 0% introductory period on the money that you're using and you're going to need to have that card have cash back rewards definitely need cash flow for this to work obviously and um, when it's all said and done again temporary use my name is Denzel hope you have a wonderful day hope this video was very helpful to you subscribe like and comment below talk to you soon and have a wonderful day